Well, everyone, grab your Confederate flags and your glass of liberal tears because today's gonna be a fun one. What up, guys? Welcome to the Just Pearly Things YouTube channel. I think that feminism overall was a bad thing. Most men would prefer virgins. Mm. I think most men would prefer women that have cookbooks. Let's say I'm the ugliest chick on the planet. I've sort of concluded that men are just superior beings. Even at a four, at 26, I am still a better pick than an eight at 38. I think we should ban divorce, too. Yeah, I think that should be banned. Well, that's a little bit silly. You have to acknowledge that, right? No. Let's talk about Pearl Davis. Or should I say, Pearl lame is Because she's lame. Now, if you don't know who Pearl Davis is, that is awesome. I wish that was me, but it is not. Can we swap brains real quick? Because I would like to go back to the person I was before finding out who Pearl was. Let me give you a quick rundown. She started her YouTube channel around two years ago, and in that time, she has gained over 1.5 million subscribers. Now, when you hear that, you might be thinking, wow, that's a lot of subscribers for just two years. That's crazy. How did she do that? Well, it kind of makes a little more sense when you see that she has over 8.3 thousand videos on her channel within the span of two years. That's insane. I struggle to do a video every two weeks. And yet, in that time, she's been doing like, in like 28. I'll never be able to compete with that. But what does make me feel a little bit better is that most of her videos get the same amount of views that mine get. So, I mean, there is that. So I guess what I'm saying is, I'm also worth 1 million subscribers. Why am I not there yet? Why are you not subscribed? Hit that button. Hit that button, you silly goose. Or I'll come to your house, I'll break down the door, and I will take- Now who is Pearl? What is she all about? Why is everybody talking about her? Why is Pearl one of the fastest growing YouTubers and cultural commentators in the world, according to her own bio? Well, that's because she's very odd. She's very different than most people. And that's mainly because she prides herself on being a woman that hates women. Some creators have called her a pick me. Some creators have called her the female Andrew Tate. Others have just called her annoying. That's me. I called her annoying because she's really annoying. But really, she's all three of those things in one. Now, honestly, I haven't heard that much about Pearl over this past year, up until recently when she was all over my Twitter feed for some reason, because Elon Musk loves putting right-wing commentators onto people's For You page, where she said, yes, you are less attractive at 35 than at 25 as a woman. This used to be common sense 50 years ago, which is just such a weird statement to make. Like, I don't know where you get those numbers from, because I know if you were to ask Young Gravy or myself, in this situation who we would choose, it would definitely not be the 25 year old. This one person saying, Pearl, this is you in your 20s and me in my 30s. You sure about that? And then that turned into a whole thing of its own with them going back and forth over like who's pretty, who's not pretty. It was just a mess and annoying. And one of the many reasons why I hate that app. But that's just the tip of the iceberg of what we're gonna get into today. But instead of me telling you who she is, why don't I let you see for yourself? A lot of people think I'm insane because I don't think women should vote. Everybody thinks I'm crazy for this opinion. I wonder why. That's totally something a reasonable person would say. 90% of women have been on birth control. One out of three women has had an abortion. One out of three women has an STD. Uh, average body count is over five, so that your average wife has slept with over five people. 95% of women are not virgins on their wedding days. So I understand the complaint. Okay, ladies, you heard it here first. You should not be able to vote because, well, you're a normal human doing normal human things, and that is bad. That's really bad. That's naughty, that's gross, and you don't deserve rights. <coughs> like, none of the stuff that she was saying even had anything to do with voting. It had to do with, like, their personal lives. Like, if you have an STD, how many people you've slept with, why does any of that correlate to, to voting? It shouldn't. That makes no sense. That's dumb. Pearl, that's dumb. You're, you're, you're dumb. I found out that only 5% of women wanted the right to vote. And I couldn't figure out like, why would women not? No, it's true. It's true. Well, you look it up. At the time. The lady beside her just can't help herself from laughing. Pearl, did you pull that statistic out of your ass? 5% of women want to vote? 95% don't? Where are you getting this information from? Before you weren't trying to divide a family. It was one family unit. You had one vote for the family. I mean, I, I don't think it's good for a family to have two votes. See guys, back in the day, only the dad was allowed to have an opinion and that's good. That's a good thing. Listen, you wanna think for yourself? You think that you have the mind to, to know who to vote for, to have opinions, let's be honest, even speak? No, that's for the man of the house to do. 
nobody else. Like, dude, it feels like she just came straight out of the like 1700s and is like saying this stuff. It's crazy to me that someone like this is like on national television talking about these issues in this way, which is why a lot of people call her a pick me because you just want attention. Like there's no way you can actually believe the stuff that you're saying because it makes no sense and is so fucking stupid. Do I think that she actually is a pick me? and that she doesn't actually believe what she's saying. I think it's halfly true. Halfly? Halfly's not a word, is it? Nope, halfly's definitely not a word. Okay, cool, Max. Yep, cool. I think that she could genuinely believe some of this stuff. I think a lot of it could be exaggerated to the point where it kind of just makes her look crazy so people like will get her on the show or whatever. Um, but I do think that most of it is genuinely her opinion, which is crazy because I didn't think that she was allowed to have one. What I wonder is when you start making calls out like repeal the 19th, women shouldn't be allowed to vote. Mm -hmm. How is that helping young men? Because these young men have women in their lives. They have mothers, they have sisters, they have teachers and they turn around. They don't know how to act around women because you're giving them license to be misogynistic. I, I wouldn't call it misogynistic. I say be equal. I say be equal. And by be equal, I think that the man of the house should have the say and nobody else. That's equal. When you have someone that's up here and the rest of them down here, that's equal. Go to school, learn this stuff. I mean, unless you're a woman, then you should stay home and, and bake bread. But it, but I'm, you know what I'm saying. So again, I men do all of that. Well saying. then, okay, I'd love for the feminists, please apply for the oil rigs. Please go do the hard jobs in society. Oh my God, dude, this is such a dumb argument. Hey ladies, if you wanna have the right to speak, why don't you go work the same jobs that guys do? Go work at an oil rig. Then, and only then, will your point be valid. But what does that have to do with anything? How does completing this very labor-heavy task validate you as a human? What, are we saying that people that work office jobs shouldn't have an opinion? What, if you sit down at a computer all day because a woman can also do that, that means that your opinion is invalid? Only if you start using your muscles, only then can you speak. What do you mean? What are you saying? You want divorce to be made illegal. Yes, because I don't think what we have today is really marriage. Leave marriage for the people that actually believe in for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health till death do us part. But doesn't the sanctity of marriage also rely on the woman being a virgin? So you wouldn't be able to get married. I well, you've spoken quite openly there's... about how you're not a virgin. And so if you want to preserve that sanctity of marriage, I then you know- Dude, she is spitting right now. She is spitting. Look at Pierce's face. Pierce is shocked right now he's just he's loving having these two women go at it you know who he looks like actually he looks like one of those pigeons from the disney animated movie the wild me, guys. yep that's that's pierce that's pierce <gasps> that's a fair complaint i wish i was but you know we can't go back i don't know what you want me to say listen it's different for pearl okay okay she's allowed to have opinions on how women shouldn't be able to have opinions but you are not allowed to have an opinion on how women should have opinions. Are you following along? I hope so. Men can have opinions that women shouldn't have opinions. Men can also have opinions that women should have opinions because they're a man. But us as women, we shouldn't have opinions. Unless you're Pearl, in which case you can have an opinion. God, I should really write children's rhymes. I feel like that would have gone hard as a rhyme. Okay, but I've had enough of the Pierce Morgan show. Okay, that guy annoys me. I hate his show. I hate the people he has on his show. Let's move on to something else. Let's 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 look at some of her clips on TikTok. Maybe, maybe that'll be a little more fun. Maybe maybe we can learn a little bit more about Pearl this way. Maybe she's not all bad. Men don't need women. Women need men. Men could survive without women. If all the women disappeared tomorrow, men would be fine outside of reproduction. Women need men. That video at the bottom of the screen is exactly how my brain feels when listening to Pearl talk. Now I am gonna say something controversial here and agree with Pearl in a sense. And only in the sense that yes, she is correct that women need men, specifically one woman in particular, that woman being herself. Because if she didn't have men, she'd have nobody to be misogynistic with. Who would she have on her side? All the women hate her, a few men like her. So if those few men left, she would have nothing. So in that sense, she is correct. I gotta give it to her. I am curious about why you would take this stance and continue preaching this same misogynistic garbage to people when you are a woman because you put yourself into such a small bubble. The majority of women hate you. Feminist men also don't like you. And then the misogynistic men 
don't like you because you're a woman. So then that just leaves you with this very small group of people that don't think women deserve opinions, but yet will agree with your opinion on that. Do you see what I mean? It's a very niche group. I don't know why you would pick this to be a part of. Now, most likely it's because she gets a lot of attention from it, which is why a lot of people call her a pick me. If you look at any of the comments on most of her videos, most of the people are calling her a pick me because that's what she is. Pearl's just so quirky because she hates who she is. Isn't that so funny? Which is ironic because that's the same thing that so many of those people will complain about, like feminists. They'll say things like, oh, all these straight white guys are claiming that they hate straight white guys and trying to convince themselves that they're bad people even though they've done nothing. When that's not even the case, it's just that, you know, there's a large majority of them that aren't too good. As a straight white guy myself, I can admit, our kind ain't too great. Okay, we've done a lot of questionable things over the years. Does that mean I hate who I am? No, but I can acknowledge who I am and acknowledge that I have privileges that come with being a straight white man, even though most people think that I'm gay. Yes. So I mean, I kind of do have one foot in the door already, Ow. but I just can't claim it as my own, you know? Women are social beings. We need attention and men, men don't. <laughs> Yes, yes, Pearl, you need you need attention. Yes, you are speaking about yourself here. You need attention. Because you talk about men are looking for women who have had less sexual partners. What makes them less attractive? What makes them less attractive? Men don't want hoes. Do men, men, don't want, men don't want women that have slept with multiple people. We're talking about five to seven partners. Why don't men want hoes? Do you, do you want a woman with a lot of bodies? Five to seven, I don't consider. I think that's totally black. You know what I hear when I hear a guy say, Wow, she's a whore. She slept with this many people. I would never date her. All I hear during that sentence is insecurity, insecurity. Listen, there's a lot of people out there that exist. We are talking about the majority of people right here. Yes, a lot of people will be with many partners. That's how life works. You go from one, you're with them, you have a little bit of fun. Hopefully you learn something from that experience and then you both move on. And you keep doing that same thing until you find someone that hopefully you wanna spend the rest of your life with. And at that point, hopefully you have both grown enough to understand where you both fit within that relationship. Previous body count does not matter at all. I don't care how many people you've been with because you're here with me now. If you cheated on your partners with those other people that you slept with in the past, then that's a concern. But if these are all individual partnerships that you've had with people, even if they're not a partnership, even if it's a one night stand, I don't give a fuck because I would do the same thing. You're young, have fun, have a good time. So many guys are obsessed with women's body count when they themselves will have a higher body count. But to them, it doesn't matter, you know, because with women, it's, it's all about emotions. But with men, it's just fuck and done. At least that's their excuse. So my thing is a man is capable of having sex with other women while still loving his girl the same. If your woman's out here fielding options, Bingo. that's an issue. Men would prefer a woman with less sexual experience than more. If anything, why would you not want someone with more sexual experience? Because then they know what they're doing. Imagine the positions you'd get in with a 60 year old. Dude, she's been around the block. She knows what she's doing. We know a thing or two because we've seen a thing or two. That's what I want. But okay, that's enough Pearl TikTok for right now. I'm, I'm a little bit exhausted. Why don't we move over to something a little bit more entertaining? Let's go to this video where she is minimizing SA victims. So in this video, these women are talking about how the UK police have had a growing number of SA allegations come out against them and what would be the proper steps into fixing this issue. And this is Pearl's response. I'm curious, there's a thousand assault claims you said? Yeah. Okay, and how many police officers are there? There's about 33,000 police officers in London and that mm -hmm. thousand is part of that 33,000. Oh, so it's at one? Yeah, so those are the ones so in like London. So that's like less than like what, 2%? But that's 2% too many. Yeah, that's pretty yeah, 2 small. You have to be like on another level of like shittiness to hear that there are a thousand SA allegations and you just go, eh. It's not that many in the grand scheme of things. I mean, what are you gonna do? There's always gonna be a couple of bad apples here and there. Men will be men, am I right? <laughs> am I right? The second step is to create a safe environment so that serving officers, whether they're male or female, can speak up and make their voice heard. I think, again, accusations does not equal guilt. And you get into a, you know, a tricky place where we're saying, oh, the, the people accusing them should just be heard. Well, they should be heard if there's evidence and they can prove it. Okay, Pearl, so uh, what are we supposed to do if there's not evidence? Are we supposed to just not listen to them? Just be like, oh, dang, sorry, that happened to you? 
Um, well, why didn't you take a video recording? Where's the footage? <laughs> This didn't actually happen because there's no proof. Stop making stuff up. Listen, if you're ever feeling threatened or you're forced to do something, maybe you should just reach for your phone and start recording. What, you're saying that the guy will take the phone? He'll throw the phone? That's not my problem, is it? I don't think anyone here would disagree with what you're saying. An accusation is not the same as a conviction. However, if you have such high levels of misogyny. What high levels of, like, we need to define it, right? Because a lot of times we throw around these terms and it's like, what? What, what is misogyny? Because I well, thought I it think... was the hatred of women and I, I don't see them openly hating women. Oh my God, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I can't do this guys, my brain is melting. My brain is melting. I feel like my brain is like that witch in The Wizard of Oz when she gets hit by water. It's just melting away. <laughs> What, Pearl, because these guys aren't going around with signs that say, I hate women on it, you think that they're like, not a misogynist? Because you don't see it happen, that means it's not happening? She can't, she can't, she can't believe what she's saying. I know she can't believe what she's saying. There's no way. Let's keep going. We'll try for a little bit more. There was discussion around the time of this tragic case that men should perhaps stay indoors at certain times so that women could feel confident. That is the most sexist policy I have ever heard. That is open sexism. Yeah, this is why I think guns are really important. I'm American. Actually, you know what? I'm done. I'm done. Can't do any more of that video. I can't take it anymore. My brain is malfunctioning. I can't compute. It's overloading with the amount of brain dead takes that I've been hearing tonight. But now that that video is over, I want to take a look at her own YouTube channel. Because as I said, it has over 1.5 million subscribers, 8.3 thousand videos. And I mean, of course, some of her most watched videos are with Andrew Tate six months ago, like not long before he got arrested for you know, sex trafficking. But I don't want to look at her most popular videos. I want to look at the stuff that she's making now because I'm curious how well they're doing. When you consider that she's putting out up to five, six videos a day, how is she cranking out this much content? Like you have to constantly be on. But I mean, whenever you do have people that work for you, it would make it easier if you had editors, if you had people that make your thumbnails, your descriptions, uploading, all you have to do is the video part of it. It would make it easier, but still that much? That's a lot, that's a lot. But I have a feeling that even her editor doesn't even really do that much because just looking at these three videos, they all use her, the exact same image of her. Someone's getting a little lazy over there, Pearl. I think you probably gotta fire them. Wouldn't surprise me if they're a woman. <laughs> So let's take a look at the high quality content that she's making on this channel. Uh, let's start with this one that she came out with uh, five hours ago from the recording of this video called What Feminists Say Versus What They Mean. These are just some of the words that I've come up with that feminists just like make up to confuse everybody. You know those dang feminists always making up words. You know, we just sit at home and we're just writing in our dictionary. We're like, um, actually, I want to add that one. Uh, I want to add this one. Uh, that one sounds pretty fun too. Um, oh, what about this word? Actually, the latest word that I added was um, gerfufula. It basically means when you've been sitting down watching a content creator for multiple hours on end and you have to constantly listen to their brain dead takes and your brain just can't compute, you can't take it anymore because you're just so confused how someone can be this ignorant, this oblivious to what's going on in the world and the people around you, which then leaves you just sitting here just in awe at the person that you're watching. That's the latest word. If you if you want to use that word, you can also use it. It's in the Webster Dictionary. You can find it in my Twitter bio. Use it wherever you want. This is defined as sexual contact or behavior that occurs without the explicit consent of the victim. So when I hear sex, I think of like something great or something crazy. But now I'm finding out lumping all of these where it's defined on consent. Yeah, usually assault it happens when there's not consent. Mm -hmm. That's correct. It's not confusing. That's what it is. It's not that hard to comprehend, Pearl. I'm just saying. And what, what is consent? Consent means to give permission. Now, on paper, this sounds good, but... There should not be a but there, Pearl. Here's a sentence that you should never say. You should never say consent is good, but that's not a thing that you should say. Consent is good, period. That works. That's perfectly fine. Consent is good, but no, don't do that. Actually, yeah, don't do not do that. That's not that's not good. But let's see what she had to say. I, I think we can see how in romantic settings be a bit confusing. Like, do you need written permission? And can it be body language? Like there's so much stuff between the lines. So basically start to lose what this really means. What? It's not even a hard concept. If you're just alive, you probably know what consent is. She said, if you're in a romantic setting, it could be confusing. No, I don't think so. I don't think most people would think so. Now, 
maybe creeps they might be a little bit confused maybe 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 creepy creepy people yucky people people that do bad things they would be confused about it but normal people they're not usually confused when you're in a romantic setting especially if it's with someone that you don't really know yeah it's probably a good thing to be like hey can I hold your hand? Are you okay with this? Is this okay? Is this too much? Those aren't bad things to say. Those are normal things to say. Just like you would say, hey, would you like to come back to my place tonight? And you would not say, hey, get in my car now. Get in now. I'm taking you back to my place. You have no say in this matter. You see, because that would be an abduction. And that's not a good thing. These are pretty simple concepts. They aren't confusing. Um, emotion. So as we said before, what is consent? You manipulated me. What is manipulation? Like, it's all these words that you hear these women me say. It's all these words you hear these women say, and we don't even know what they mean. Listen, Pearl, I know I was I was shitting on your thumbnails a little bit ago because they're dog shit, but also your videos are also dog shit, so I think it's high time you hire an editor. I'm available. I could I could edit your videos if you want. I could make them a lot more entertaining than they are right now. Uh, I could also cut out when you misspeak instead of like leaving that in and then adding the clip where you said it correctly. It's all these words that you hear these women me say. It's all these words you hear these women say. I don't know why that's something your editor would do unless your editor is dumb. Genuinely, do you know what any of this shit means, King? Okay. No, it's just they put in these big words into the language to confuse everybody and make men the bad guy. They put these big words into the language to confuse everybody. Listen, there's like, there's like four syllables in that. Ma, nip, you lay tid that's five there's five syllables in that how the heck am i supposed to understand that also it starts with a man did you see that the word manipulated starts with man because everything in life starts with man not woman see when it comes to a woman man is at the end because Women does not prioritize man like they should they leave him for last listen i know i did that as a bit but genuinely, I could see her saying that. Narcissist. How is it that women are addicted to social media, yet the men are the narcissists? Women are way more addicted to social media, which is very narcissistic. What? Pearl, you're just saying things. That makes zero sense whatsoever. How the hell does me looking at Twitter make me a narcissist? Because I'm on my phone more. That makes me a narcissist. Do you know what the word narcissist even means? I know that was a dumb question. There is no way in hell she knows what narcissist means because it has multiple syllables and we all know how much she does not like big words. That was dumb on my part that I would have assumed that she would have known that. So uh, yes, new definition for narcissist is when you cannot get off of your phone. Internalized misogyny and my, my very favorite healing. And I'll be like, what did you do to heal? Uh, they probably went to some therapist that taught them all of these words. Damn, it's almost like therapists know words. It's almost like they know big words and can teach people what those big words mean. Healing, what did you do to heal? What, you, what, you went to someone that could help you heal? Fuck that. You know what you should have done? You, you should have went to an oil rig. That's what you should have done. Probably went to a therapist. <laughs> Those women always going to therapists. Fucking lame. Hey, how about this? How about instead of healing, how about you go churn some butter? H how, about how about you go wash dishes, maybe? You know, maybe wash some clothes? Just a suggestion, sweep the floor, make some food. Womanly duties or healing? We all know which one always comes on top, do we not? Here's the thing, guys. Us women, we believe anything. So if you start telling us to use these words... No, Pearl. Uh, women, they don't just believe anything. They don't just hear something at face value and believe it. That's just you. Now today, penetration, no matter how slight, of the vagina or anus. Of the vagina. vagina. Give me a second. I got to go take a pee out of my pernis. Okay, guys, I'm back. What a lovely pee that was. Now, let's talk about consent. What is consent? Now, Let's say you're talking to, now is getting naked consent? Oh my God, what? Oh my God, I come back and it's just in me. What, what the fuck was that cut? Okay, hang on, hang on. I don't even care, Pearl. I don't I don't care about your stupid political ideas. I, I, I don't care that you hate women. Let's go back to this cut. What is consent? Now, let's say you're talking to, now is getting naked consent? Why was 
Now let's say you're talking to Left In. Why did they not cut it off before that? You have 1.5 million subscribers. How? I know how, okay? It's because you have 8.3 thousand videos. When you have that many videos, of course you're gonna end up on everybody's feed. But this definitely explains why you get the same amount of views per video that I also do when I have like 0.001% of your subscriber number. I hear from feminists, okay, well, you can withdraw consent even during sex. I'm also told from feminists that, oh, oh, and, and, yet yeah, that you're, that you're, if he takes the condom off. Yes, 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 Pearl. Let's run it back. Let's run it back. Let's run it back a little bit, okay? When you have two people, okay? You have two people, one person, one person. These two people consent to doing this one thing. They both know what's going on. Oh, okay. You're wearing a condom. Fine, okay? It's all good. You have sex. You take the condom off and then you have sex. Yes. That would be considered because there was no prior knowledge to that because you consented specifically to having the condom on you did not consent to having the condom off if they take that off deceptively while you're having sex yes that is how is that a question how is that a debate you consented to how the night was going to go and then he switched it up on you drastically which could cause multiple different things okay let's be honest and it, it can do more than just make her have a kid stds like dude yes that is 100% you absolute dumb fuck. And also to go back to your point that they can withdraw the consent during sex. Yes, they can withdraw their consent while having sex. If you are in the middle of having sex and one person says, no, I don't want this anymore. Please leave. Yes, you are withdrawing consent and the other person should obey that. You do not own that person just because you started to perform this act. What the f Pearl, you are literally a apologist. We have a bunch of feminists that hate men because they're constantly told that they're a victim. They call everything a sexual coercive control. And essentially, it's just a man hating parade. But maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Yeah, um, you are wrong. There, I let you know. And so did like a ton of other people on the internet. You know what? I think that's enough Pearl for today. Uh, I've had enough of this lady's face. I've had enough of her talking. I'm at my pearl limit. The only pearl I want to be seeing after this video is a pearl necklace or the whale from SpongeBob. Daddy! With all that being said, though, I just want to say that I try to keep a lot of these videos funny, uh, a little more lighthearted, uh, more entertaining. Uh, with this one, we did dive into some uh, heavier topics like which are very serious issues. And I do not want anything that I said to be undermining those issues. If anything, I would at least like to bring a light to these issues. And if you are a victim or know someone who is and need to speak to someone, I will leave information in the description on how you can get a hold of a professional to do that. And on that note, I just want to say thank you all for watching. Have a great day. And I hope to catch you all in the next video when I go back in time to find out what did the fox say. But until then, goodbye.